In unit conversions, there are three rules to follow. First, find a conversion equation that gets you from units that you have into units that you want. From that equation, convert into a ratio that equals the number one, and then multiply it to your number. So here I have a number five and a half feet, and I want to convert it uh, to meters. What is that? Now I'm going to use, uh, you might have a direct conversion between feet and meters. I'm going to take it a, a number of steps just for the practice, and I'm going to start one inch is defined to be 2.54 centimeters. So right now I have in feet. To be able to use this conversion, I want to get into inches, and so I need a conversion equation that will do that, and I know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So there's my conversion equation. Now I want to convert it to a ratio that equals number one. So to do that, I could divide both sides by, say, 12 inches. 12 divi inches divided by 12 inches is equal to one. So there's a ratio that equals the number one. My problem is, if I multiply that, here's 0.5.5 feet by one foot over 12 inches, you'll see one of the pitfalls we often run into when we're doing unit conversions. I have the wrong version of the number one. Here's these feet, multiplies by feet, gives me feet squared over inches, which is not what I want at all. And so if I go back to one foot is equal to 12 inches, divide both sides by one foot. Now one foot divided by one foot is also equal to the number one, and so I have 12 inches over one foot as a ratio, which now gives me the right unit, 5.5 feet times 12 inches divided by one foot. The feet cancel, and 5.5 times 12 is equal to 66, and the unit I have left over is inches. So there's something you want to look out for. If the unit you want to convert from is in your numerator, you want that unit in the denominator in your conversion factor so that they'll cancel out. All right, so now we have inches and now we can convert. We know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. I want to get rid of inches, which is in the numerator. So if I divide both sides, by one inch, this gives me the number one is equal to 2.54 centimeters over one inch, so I can multiply, and now the inches cancel, and 66 times 2.54 gives me 167.64, and now I'm left with centimeters. Now my final conversion is into meters, and I know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, I want to get rid of centimeters, so divide, which is in the numerator of my number, so divide both sides by centimeters, this is equal to one, means this ratio is equal to one, and 167.64 centimeters, one meter over 100 centimeters, centimeters cancel, 1.6764 meters. And so if I have significant figures, what do I'm left with? Two significant figures, maybe? So maybe I'm left to 1.7 meters to the correct number of significant figures. Unit conversions are these three rules. Find a conversion equation, and it may take multiple steps, but once you find one of them, convert that equation into a ratio that equals, number, that equals the number one in such a way that it cancels out the unit you want to get rid of, and then you multiply that to convert your units. Now, this is one of those things that after you practice, you may be able to get shorter, cut through some of these steps, but until you're very proficient and you follow these steps thoroughly, you'll get the right answer every time.